Okay, all we're really gonna do for this episode is create some server scripts and create the pet UI. So go ahead and start a GUI, insert a screen GUI. We're gonna name this inventory, duplicate it, and then name this one main. Now go ahead and insert a frame into this, and we're just gonna scale this. Feel free to copy the properties, I'll speed this up a tiny bit, but I'll note the properties down. All right, so all I'm really doing here is just going ahead and inserting some UI aspects, some frames and some image labels, okay? Now this took way longer than I thought it would, so I'll go ahead and leave the model in the description below. The model will contain this UI. And with all that being said, let's continue on. Okay, so I just finished the inventory UI and it took way longer than expected. So this also works on different devices, on phone, tablet, so that's all good. Now I'll go ahead and leave this UI in the description below, free to download so you can import it into your game. Another thing is these icons are just emojis. All I did was went on Photoshop, inserted a emoji and downloaded that and uploaded it to Roblox. So there's no problem with that. Okay, so firstly go into server script service and insert a script, okay? And we can just name this server. Okay, so let's do local players equals game get service players. Let's just do services. Then we'll do players dot player added connect player added and we're gonna add a function function player added then the player here then we're also gonna do players dot player removing connect uh, player removing then we do function player removing player Okay, these can all be events and these can be like, detect when the player is added. Detect when the player leaves the game. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do under player added, we're gonna do for nothing player in pairs game or in pairs players get players do task task got spawn function then we're just gonna do player added then player just like that now we're gonna detect when the character gets added so we're gonna do player dot character added 
then connect function. Oh no, just connect character added because this will be a function. Then we're going to do local function character added. Then character. We're also going to do that here character added player dot character. I can't spell or player dot character added wait just like that now we're gonna see when the player gets added print player dot name then we're gonna print the character or we just yeah that'll do let's go ahead test it see if it works there we go so this should be the player Yep, and this should be the character. Okay, awesome, that worked. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it here for episode one. Now, I know I haven't really done a lot of scripting in the first episode, and that's because I wanna see how this episode does before I start making a complete pet system, okay? Now, if this video does well, and it gets a lot of likes and you guys enjoy it, there'll be a part two where we start to work on the UI animations, like opening and closing it, and also the data. We will have like a full secure data system for this as well. Now with all that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.